Bad Boys Ride or Die is now released in most cinemas around the globe as a sequel to three very successful installments that made over $840 million at the box office and marks the return of Will Smith and Martin Lawrence to the streets. How is that information going to help me do my job? But ever since the release of Bad Boys 3 in 2020, the last four years have been kind of rough in terms of production. Yet Will didn't lose the whale to give up and put up another entertaining piece of cinema in front of your eyes. So this is the story of Will Smith and his journey that led to Bad Boys 4. So to understand Will's journey, we gotta start on October 11th, 2019. But before that, there was another Will Smith. Born on September 25th, 1968 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Hiller first gained recognition as a rapper under the name Fresh Prince, and then gained even more popularity through the TV show The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. After that, he rapidly appeared in Bad Boys, remember the name? Independence Day, Hello Hiller, and in The First Man in Black alongside Tommy Lee Jones. Not too bad, but Muhammad Ali, Man in Black 2, Bad Boys 2, The Pursuit of Happiness, I Am Legend, Seven Pounds, Man in Black 3, The Suicide Squad, Aladdin, and I didn't even mention these bad boys, would follow after. But on October 11th, 2019, Jimini Man got released in the United States, as this was his final film before everything would never be the same again. While the third Bad Boys film was still released, as it was already delayed several times, more and more people started to pass away and countries started to restrict and isolate due to the COVID pandemic. Yet it still made a great box office of $426.5 million, which was an immediate argument to develop a fourth film. Except that it was 2020, and everyone was stuck at home with a lot of restrictions that didn't really make it possible to instantly begin production on Bad Boys 4. Especially when Will was busy with his summer body, Snapchats, and actually fighting the ongoing pandemic. Yes, he still made the 2021 release of King Richards, but that film started shooting in January 2020, just in time to get enough footage. I'll take that, thank you. As time went on, months went by, and when every person had its difficulties with the pandemic in some way, we finally reached the start of 2022. So it's the first quarter of 2022. The pandemic became a lesser threat, economy started to recover, Bad Boys 4 was about to begin principal photography, and the film industry was about to host its Oscars. Sorry, who won again? Ah yes, Fresh Prince went on to win the Best Actor Award for King Richard. Everyone was happy, the showroom fell into tears, and the world lived happily ever after, except not really. Uh oh, Richard! <laughs> the infamous Will Smith Chris Rock slap. An event that caused Will Smith to be banned for 10 years from any Academy Award ceremonies. As he had already resigned preemptively on April 1st, 2022, from the Hollywood Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, a week before the ban was confirmed. Yeah, it's crazy. Not gems or jams, jewels. It didn't just create a lot of memes and viral videos, but also delayed the production for Bad Boys 4, as in the months to come, he lost more than 250,000 followers on Instagram, and his media company, which he runs with his wife, Jada Pinksmith, struggled to land more streaming deals along with some serious backlash. It's a great damage to his reputation, which he now has to repair. It's now 2023, as Will still managed to appear in Emancipation and gets a new fresh year to work on the Bad Boys film. In February that year, he officially announced that he and Martin Lawrence would once again reprise their roles, followed by Vanessa Hudgens as Kelly in March, Eric Dane, Paola Nunez, Alexander Ludwig, and Johan Griffith in April, and Rhea Seahorn in May, while principal photography began on April 3rd, 2023, in Atlanta, Miami, Georgia, and Florida. Behind the scenes pictures were quickly released, and shooting seems to be wrapped up soon. The actor rider strikes, like a shiny car that ran out of fuel. Except, Will wouldn't be Will without having his say. So he picked up his phone, went on social media, and said, I want to talk for a second about acting. As some of y'all might have heard, my guilt, 
are on strike, along with our writer colleagues in the WGA. It's a pivotal moment for our profession. Now that's quite a bit of class. He shoots a new film, then there's an event that blocks the shooting, and yet he supports the event. Which leaves us with a question. When did Bad Boys 4 wrap up shooting? It's actually none of these. The answer is March 4th, 2024. A full three months before it came out. So, to sum it all up, if it weren't for COVID, Chris Rock's lines, and the writer actor strikes, Bad Boys 4 could have been released much, much earlier. Will went through isolation, a damaged reputation, and uncountable delays. And so did the Bad Boys crew. But in the end, you get a film that continues a nearly 30-year-old franchise and a friendship that's still loved to this day.